Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, we have this 2019 Volkswagen Jetta. And we're gonna do the front grille chrome delete installation for this vehicle. So as you can see, this is how it looks before the installation. And this is how it looks after the installation. So we use the gloss back material for this installation to give the vehicle a different look. If you like the product, the link for the product will be down in the description below. But with that being said, let's get started with the installation video. So before we start with the installation, we need to make sure we prep the panel. So to prep it, you could wash the vehicle beforehand. You could use water with soap to brush off all the contaminants, or you could use any type of cleaning solution that's safe to use on your vehicle. Once you're done cleaning the panel, the next thing to do is just ensuring that the panel is dry because if the panel is still wet, the adhesive on the film will not stick to the panel. So we need to make sure that the panel is dry because the adhesive on the film will not stick to the surface that's wet. So we need to make sure that the panel is all dry. So you're also going to need to lift the hood in order to clean the edge on the inside of the grill. So lift it, and then once that's done and clean, we can start with the installation. Okay, so now we can start with the installation. So with the film, make sure to remove the protective layer from the film. And then once you remove the protective layer, you can start with the installation. So with this one, you can start from either end. Just make sure when you start from one end, you still have enough material to reach to the other end. So estimate where you're going to align it, so roughly around there. And then just follow along and install the rest of the film. If you need to adjust, lift carefully and adjust the film and just make sure you're covering all the chrome. Now that we have the film placed onto the panel, you can start squeegeeing the film and then just go all around the panel. And if you need to remove and adjust the film, you can. Just make sure when you're squeegeeing, you remove all the air bubbles behind the film. So right here, we need to adjust it before we squeegee, because if we squeegee, we could have creased the film. Take your time, lift the film carefully, and squeegee, and it should look like this. So for this one, you could only tuck in up to only a certain amount, so you might need to do a cutout on each section if you want to tuck in inside, or you could just trim off from here. It would be up to you, personal preference, but if you do decide to trim off, let's say here on the edges, so it could tuck inside, just make sure you apply heat, that way the film doesn't lift over time. Just to show you an example of how you would go about if you do decide to trim it, you would try to find the, the middle section and with your blade trim it and then you would tuck it in like that. And then this piece, you will remove it since this isn't part of the chrome. Just take your time doing a small slit, be careful, and then you would use heat to tuck in inside there. That would be the option if you want to tuck in the film inside. If you don't want to do that and you want to remove the excess material, you would just find the lower trim of the grill, put your knife, let's say for example like this, and just go along and trim off the extra material. So it's personal preference, it doesn't matter, it just depends how you want to go with the installation. Just make sure if you do trim it like this, give yourself a little bit of excess material to cover at least the lower part of the grill here. There's two different options, and then once you decide which trim you want to do, tack down the film, add heat, and then remove the extra material. So once you're done tucking in or trimming off the extra material, now you can apply heat all around to help tack down around the curves. And then once we see how much material we have left, then we could trim off the excess on the sides. And then just start trimming off the excess material. apply heat again wherever you trim that way the film that's popping out we tag it back down so now we move on to these three pieces but for the two middle ones the same steps that we do for this one you would just rinse and repeat for the other two middle ones on the other side because this one it's a long piece so it's just one piece so let's start with the installation so now we're moving on to these sections here so for this one align it from one end and just make sure you give yourself enough material to cover the chrome. Test it out like this first. Lift it and adjust it. So once you align it with your finger, you can start tacking it down little by little. 
and just help the film tack down. If you do see some bubbles, just remove them carefully. Take your time and then just tack down underneath. You know, the excess material, we will remove it after. And now just apply heat to help secure the film more faster. And then be careful when you're trimming off any excess material. And now we would install this small piece. So align it where we left off and it should be like this. Or you can start from this edge. Doesn't really matter. Just make sure wherever you start, you give yourself enough material to cover the chrome. So like that. Right here, just add a little bit of heat to help it tack down to the curve. Let it cool off and start tacking it down. And then same here, it does have small fingers. Add heat and then tack it down. And then just tuck the film inside. And then excess material, we trim it off. Just be careful, take your time trimming off the excess material. And that's pretty much it. And the same steps that we did for this one, you just rinse and repeat for this panel here. So your line there, follow the design of the grill, tack it down, work your way in the middle now, remove any air bubbles, and slowly start tacking underneath the film. Add heat to help it tack down on this curve. Let it cool off and bring it in. And it should look flush like this. So with the lower piece, recommend starting from the middle section here because it does have a cutout for where the emblem is located. So as you can see, just align it right there. Tack it down just to have it in place. Lift and align it right where the cutout is. It should be right there. And you should have enough material to cover the top section. Once it's aligned, grab your squeegee and start tucking in inside. And now that we have this section secured, we can move on to each side. Lift the film and just start aligning it. Like how we did it with the other sections. Squeegee the top, remove any bubbles from the middle, and then apply the lower section. Right here, add a little bit of heat just to help it tack down on the curve. Lift it carefully, add a little bit of heat, let it cool off for a bit, and then tack it down. You can do a little light stretch, just make sure you don't overstretch it, because if you overstretch, you're gonna make, create more fingers. And then just apply heat to secure it. On the same steps that we did here, you would just rinse and repeat for this side. And now we move on to installing this side piece here. So the last piece, line it right on the edge. Make sure you give yourself enough room to cover the chrome. And then just lay it, work your way on top first and then the middle section, and then you could tuck in. And then this excess material, trim off. So let's apply heat. Let it cool off for a minute or so, and then try to find a small gap in between the chrome and the plastic, and slowly, little by little, start removing the film. And then just add heat one more time to help the film tack down better on the section that we trimmed the piece. Okay, and once you finish installing the whole kit, the last thing to do is post heat the whole film. That way we help the adhesive stick better to the panel and also post heat on the edges. That way the film doesn't lift over time. So grab your heat gun and go section by section. Okay, so that concludes the installation video for the front grille chrome delete for the 2019 Volkswagen Jetta. We hope that this video helped you guys out with the installation. If it did, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe and turn on that notification bell. That way you don't miss any upcoming installation videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.